Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. How are you today, Francisco? Doing good? Yes, good. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So let me see. We're going to start with today's class. Are you ready? Yes, always. Always, a eh, perfect, perfect, that's perfect. Okay, so let me see here. We're going to continue working with uh, Principiante numero seis, right? Just let me put some battery to my laptop. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we are. Perfect. Who else is here? Let me see, only you and I? Okay. Okay, so let's start, I think. Well, today we, we're going to start with unit number three, right? Unit number two. That's, yes, that's what okay. we're gonna do, unit number three. We, this unit is called human resources, right? So we're going to talk about human resources today. That's what we're gonna do. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay, perfect. So that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna to talk about human resources and the things that we're going to like, uh, vocabulary related to human re resources as well. That's pretty much what we're going to do today, right? First, uh, we're, well, we have different like competencies or objectives that we want to develop in you guys. The first one here is that we need uh, to identify specific information of the human resources staff, organization, and the responsibilities with the department, right? So do you know what is human resources? Yes. Yes, okay, hello, Edwin. Hello, how are you, teacher? Doing really good, thank you for asking. What about you? Thank you. I'm good, thank you for asking too. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect, that's actually, I'm really glad. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is human resources procedures. I was telling um, Francisco, right? And well, these are the competences that we're going to develop, right? Number two is given receive instructions on company procedures and policies given by human resources and talk about activities I am doing at my workplace, ask and answer simple questions on performance, discipline and behavior. Right, these are the four things that we're going to do. And we're going to start right now with video conference number 11, human resources vocabulary. All right, so today we're going to practice a lot of vocabulary for us to you know, understand what human resources is about. Hello, Melvin, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Fine, fine, teacher, good evening. Perfect, perfect. Now, we're going to continue working here, right? And we're going to start right now with the following. We're going to do, since today is about vocabulary, right? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start with vocabulary. Maybe you were some of the words that we're going to see today. Maybe you do, or maybe you don't. So let's see what happens, right? Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, Francisco, can you please read the instructions on this slide? Francisco? Hello. Hello, Francisco. Could you please uh, read these instructions? Okay. Match the verbs on the left with the words on the right from phrase. 
Okay, very good. Very good, Francisco. Phrases. Phrases, very good. Now, Phrases. that's what we're going to do. We're going to match, you know, connect the verse on the left with the words on the right, right? To create phrases. So it's very simple. For example, if we want to look for the word organized, number nine, look at number nine there, right? What do you think organized is about? We have different options, A, B, C, D, and so on, right? So what do you think right now, if you look at them, what do you think is organized? Workers performance, no. Workers performance, I don't know, maybe, right? Maybe. Now that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to try to work a, let me see how many people I have. I have eight people. Welcome, Sandra Corina, Raul Francisco, Veronica, Alan. Welcome to the class. Hi. Hi. Thanks. What we're going to do is that we're going to match. We're going to connect the information here, right? The words on the, on, on the, on the left with the words on the right, right? That's what we're going to try to, to do. Right. I know that you don't understand all the vocabulary, but that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to practice the vocabulary. Is that clear? Yes? No? Yes. Maybe? Yes. So. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's start right now working in here. I have three, let's see, eight people, seven participants. Let's work in groups of three or two, right? Let's start working, let's start working. We're going to join the groups right now. Okay, let's go. Very good. Sandra Corina. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Very good, very good. Very good. <laughs> llegando, llegando. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions right now about the activity? The, the activity is on the book, right? Mm, no. no, it's not on the book. Let me get you, let me get you the picture right now. Can you okay. see my computer? Wait. No. Not yet? What about now? Yes. Uh, now, yeah. now. Okay. Um, yeah, screen shot. Wait. Please do? Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, right now. Yes. Very good. I got it, I got it. Okay, perfect. So we'll go to the other group to give them the, the information. One more. Okay. okay. Hi, Pete. You take a screenshot of the of the. No, I I was. No le tomamos the screenshot. Ah? No tomamos el screenshot. El activity. Oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I cannot see what's up right now. <laughs> oh. I put the phone away because I I can get distracted. Me puedo distraer hijo, entonces no. Share, share us the okay. Yes, take the screenshot. No. Yeah, ahorita. Okay. Good? Yes. Very good. Uh, thank you. Teacher, eh, íbamos, lo que íbamos a trabajar era un vocabulario, me decía. Yes, that's the vocabulary that you're going to work. I'm going to go to the other group and I'll be back with you. Voy a ver con los demás porque nadie le toma screenshot. Okay. You're welcome. Give me one moment. I'll be back with you, okay? Mm -hmm. okay yes. Yo, I los quiero felicitar porque tomaron el screenshot. Fueron los únicos. De ahí nadie. Very good. Okay, thank you. Good. You're welcome. Very nice. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, I always take a screenshot when I when I, when I see something new. Very nice, I like it. The others didn't, so I was uh -huh. concerned. 
Okay, perfect. So I will see you Thank in a you. minute, okay? No problem. Thank We're you. We're going to work in this. Thank you okay. to you. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Tell me. What, what were your questions? Okay. Um, we start with the, I don't know, concept that we no. You're going to you're going to match the possible words. So where, what do you think is the meaning of the possible words that we have there? For example, we have verify. What do you think verify is? Verify. Um, Ready. Mm. Verify. Uh huh. What do you think is the meaning of verify? In this case, it's like, for example, I can say improve, improve workers' performance. Is that a phrase? Oh, so, mm. Interview new employees, for example. Is that what human resources do? Uh, yes. Yes, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, what, what if I want to say give? Give. Oh, my camera is off. Okay. <laughs> Difficult teaching. Yes. Um, but you know the meaning. Melvin, verify a referent. Very good. Verify. Very nice. Very this nice. Is give. This is give, teacher. No. no. Oh, verify. No. Verify. Ah, verify. 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 Great. Thank You're you. welcome. See you in a moment. Where is where is Carla? Carla was supposed to be here. Teacher, result maybe worker complete. Result worker complete. Okay, okay very yes. good. You yes. see, it's easy, Melvin. Organize. <laughs> Question about company. Mm. Yeah, I see you in a moment, okay? Melvin, answer. Yeah. See, question about interview. Interview job what? Candidate. Job candidates. Very good. <laughs> what else? Five answer. Answer. Answer questions about company. Question about company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Answer. Five, yes. E? I, 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 six, a prize, a prize. Oh. A praise, a praise. A praise, a praise. Uh -huh. A praise. How do you say a praise in Spanish? What is I don't know. What, what is, is the, the meaning, meaning of a praise? What is the meaning of a praise? San Google, uh -huh. where are you? <laughs> let's let's use the, the, the tool that I gave you last time. What is the Don't meaning of a phrase? Hmm? What does what is the meaning? No, 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 no. Don't no, don't translate. Si no, yo le dicho. Don't translate. <laughs> Bye. 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 A phrase meaning. Tasación. <laughs> a phrase. I don't know what, I don't know what is that. A phrase. A phrase. Aprecia, como apreciación. No. Can you look What at is? my computer? What <laughs> is? Okay. Appraise. Uh -huh. Meaning. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Assess the, evalu the value or quality oh, of. Quality. Right? So it means that they, they tell you if you're really good or if you're really bad. Right? That's a, that's appraise. Right, for ah, example, okay. right, okay. what does it mean to appraise? No, uh, that's appreciation. appreciation. Appraise means okay. assess. It's when you ah. evaluate something. Assess means evaluate, evaluation. 
right? When you evaluate someone or something, as seen a need to appraise existing techniques to make sure that something is good, right? Okay. And appreciation is different. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know. Okay, I got it. Okay. Appreciate. Appraise. Appraise. <laughs> mm, uh, okay, I'll be with you in five minutes, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, ser alguna que está mala? Yes, yes. De alimentación. Mm. Why are you speaking in Spanish? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Ay, María. Teacher, we are confused. Ah, teacher. I am late. Sorry. My dinner is, is late. <laughs> Your Las dinner is late. llegaron tarde. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Why are you confused? What's, what's the question? We uh, organize because organize. Uh, we, organize. we think that it's not honest feedback. Organize. Uh -huh. honest organize feedback. honest people. Organize honest people. Is that what you think it is? Yes, but we not sure. That's number nine, right? Maybe mm -hmm. it's A. Company working condition? No. You give no, no. training for a common staff, correct? Very no. good, very good. Corina, organize training for company staff. That's training. what training resources... training for company training staff. For company staff. Yeah, and that's what the human resources do. Gives uh, on honest and safe feedback. Feedback. Uh -huh. Feedback. Give honest feedback. Okay. Okay. I will give you two more minutes because we're going to share with the others. Okay. We need to speak right now with possible answers right now. Okay. okay Perfect. Um, uh, ladies, uh, take the screenshot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I take. Okay. I took. I took a screenshot. Yes. Um, yeah. How was the exercise? Difficult? A little bit. A little bit, right? A little bit. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, a new words that they're confused because we don't know yet the meaning. So, exactly. but, yeah, but uh, once we know the meaning, we are going to be easy this work. <laughs> exactly, very good. Yes, right now what we're doing is to get in familiar with the vocabulary. These are what you have there right now. These are like activities that the HR do, right? Every day, that's what they do, right? So what, what do we have here? We're going to see possible answers, right? Possible answers here. And then, uh, well, we're going to say they are correct, maybe. So these are like, verbs that we need to match to create activities, right? To have a full activity, a full interest so they can have meaning, right? So let's start here. What do you think number one is with recruit? D. Letter D. Can you please read letter D? Wait. It does right now, it does not matter if they are correct or not. Don't worry, okay? Okay. Okay, so number one will be letter D. D. Okay. Now, recruit. what do you think? So it will be recruit new employees. Okay. Or job now, candidate, probably. Recruit? Job candidates, letter C, maybe. Maybe letter C too. Okay, but right now we're going to stick to one answer. Si no se va como tripachuca. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we have for number two, Corina? Improve. 
improve, improve, um, improve company working condition, condition. Improve. Uh, eight. Letter A. Letter uh -huh. A. Eight. eight. Company working work conditions. Condition. Improve company working conditions. Very good. Now, what about number three? Verify. What do you have, uh, Ellington? In your group, what do you have? Hello, hi, Raul. And number nine. Mm -hmm. Number okay, three, I, right now, number three. Number three. I yes. help me, my. <laughs> Your class, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Number three, verify, uh, Raul, what do you have? Number three, I think is, is worker performance. What letter is that? I. F. Okay. Verify workers performance. Okay. Number four with interview or interview. Interview or interview. Maria de Jesus. Uh, in my group, I don't work in, in the group because I late in the class. Interview uh -huh. some new employees. And interview new employees. Okay, very good. Employees. This is what your group has. Okay, no, very good. No, yo, it's new employees. Okay, right now, this is where we're going to live. Okay? okay? Interview okay. new employees, you said. This one too. Okay. Answer. What what is the meaning of answer, Edwin? Okay, I'm not really sure answer is, but I think it's um mm -hmm. answer could be honest feedback. Answer letter B. Answer honest feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about a praise, uh, Melvin? We have um, a praise, workers' performance. A praise, workers' perf. Oh, another one here. Okay. What about give? Who has give? Carla Gabriel? What is the information from your group? Yeah, maybe give training for company staff. Give training, okay. That makes sense, very good. Give training for company staff, okay. Result. Sandra, Veronica. Resolve uh, worker conflicts. Letter H. H. And the last one is organize Ellington. Okay, okay. Organize his letter E. Letter E. Organize questions. Question about company policies. Policies. Okay. So policies. this is this is what we have right now. Okay. Now we are going to verify with the answers from. Uh, the material that we're using to see if that that is correct remember that with this vocabulary we may have different answers right we may have different responses right for example it is okay if we say give training for company staff but let me ask you something do you think that hr gives training or they look for people to give training for example, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think HR, HR is human resources, right? The people who hire other people for the company, do they give 
uh, you know, training in the companies? Who was? Uh, mm -hmm. no. Yes. No, right? Uh, they don't. They don't give training. They so look for no. other people. Right? They look. Yes. They look for other people. Uh, let me see here, Maria de Jesus. Okay. Are you the? You are the principal, right? Yes. Do you have HR in your company? HR. Okay. Let what is HR? HR? What is the meaning of HR? Edwin? Recursos human. Human resources. Human resources. Okay. Right? It's the people who hire other people. They make the interviews for new employees. Right? So, my question is, right? These are the activities right now with the vocabulary, right? These are the activities that supposedly, supposedly HR, you know, do every day, right? That's what supposedly they do. So what we're going to do here is that I'm going to share with you the answers and we are going to compare to see if they are correct. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, okay perfect. Perfect, perfect. So let me show you here. Give me one moment. Oops, okay. Give me one second because here this book is, is a little bit weird right now. Give me one second. Okay, can you see my computer? Not yet? Not yet. Not yet, Not yet. okay. Not yet. Not yet. What Not about yet. now? Yes, right now. Yes, yes. Okay, this is the exercise. This is the answers. Okay, let's take a look at the answers. According to the book, we can say that number one, recruit, it matches with D. Recruit, New employees, okay? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. recruit new employees. Yeah. Number two, what is the answer that the book shows us here, Osmi? Osmi? Number two? Two, uh-huh. Uh, According to the book, you have the answers. You only have to read it. Company working conditions. Improve company working conditions. Very good. Number three is verify is 3F. Verify references of job candidates. Right? candidates. Like, for example, you say, oh, you know what? You give your, your CV, right? And you say, oh, I, I have work in another, in different places. But maybe you have not worked in those places, so they have to call and they have to verify if the information is true, right? Now, what happens with number four? Can, who wants to read number four? Maria, interview. Interview is a job candidate. Candy, I don't know. Candidates, very good. Candidates. Very good. <laughs> Interview job candidates, very good. Number five, Alan? 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 Sorry, my, my mic was off. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, number five, answer to letter E. Mm -hmm. Answer question about company policies. 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 Very good. Policies. Answer questions about company policies. Number six is appraise. Uh, Melvin? Appraise. The letter oh, I. Appraise workers' performance. Appraise workers' appraise. performance. Very nice. Uh, what is letter no, number seven? Give. Corina? <gasps> <laughs> Corina? Corina? Not there? Corina, it's your mic. Excuse me, off. excuse me. Gil, 
a little be honest feedback. Give honest feedback. Give honest, honest feedback. feedback. Okay, very good. For example, in the class, I give you feedback, right? Like I tell you, mm, you need to improve your pronunciation, you need to practice, so that's feedback, right? Okay, what is resolve, Esther? Esther? Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. <laughs> hello, hello. Resolve <laughs> is work. Her conflict. Very good. Resolve workers' conflicts. And the last one is that? Worker conflict. Organa organize training for company staff. Organize training for company staff. Okay, very good. So this is what we have. This is the vocabulary that we are going to use. So I need you to pay attention to this today, okay? So remember this information. Remember this information. Now, do you take a screenshot for the answers? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. very nice, very nice. Now, we're going to continue working here with this exercise. Well, not this exercise, but you know, the information here about human resources. Let me see here. I'm gonna share my computer again. Now, this is what we're going to do, right? Based on the information that you have, we're going to talk right now, right? We have question one, question two, and then we're going to make a list. Well, this is part of this, right? Now, what is the first question here? Ellington, read the question. Only read. Oi, only read. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Can you think of any others? Things that a human resource, um, I don't know, look. Specialists? Specialists may do. Okay. Uh, and number two? Yes. Okay. What do you know about the HR department in your company? Make a list. Make a list. Very good. So, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to think about these. These are the activities that they do. Human resources people, this is what they do. But I need you to think of what else do you think they can do, right? In your department, right? What else do they do? For example, in my in my company, in, well, in another company where I work, right? The human resources they are always taking care of uh, the schedules, right? They see if we actually are on time every day. Also, they are in charge of many other things, right? Now, this is what we need to do. Please screenshot this, these questions and let me know if you're ready. Okay. We, we're ready. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to speak in English, try to speak in English. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's try and share the information because these activities, let's talk. You are not going to write this one. You can make a list, but just to remember, right? Now, are you ready to work? Yes, maybe, no, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. So we're going to start working here. Let me see. We're going to work in pairs. Right? No, let's see. Let's work in groups of three. Okay. So, and we're going to start working right now. Only speaking. Only speaking. Okay. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ok, yo creo que solo tenemos ahorita que hablar acerca de lo que 
In English. In English. In English. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Hoy voy a tartamudo. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. okay. I think that we we do uh -huh. uh, talk about or specialists in recurso human Re resources human resources are in our company or or job or work okay human resources activities what do they do do you remember the last week you told me what do you do every day right what are your activities every day this time you are going to talk about human resources activities every day okay okay perfect yeah. Let's start. I'm okay. just going to listen right now. In my case, uh, human resources uh, do, as it says, asking, do, do, interview uh, a interview candidate. Uh -huh. For a new job. Very good. Okay, but that that is that is on the that is on the PowerPoint. What else do you think they do? What other activities? More activities. Okay. Uh, how do you say uh, incapacidades? Medical leave. Medical leave. Medical leave. Okay. This department. In, char in charge is in the, charge. Uh -huh. Is in charge the medical leave. Medical leave. The co, co my co-workers and me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Human resources is in charge of medical leaves for my co-workers and me. Okay. Very good. In your case, Ma Maria de Jesus, or Osmin? In my case, in my case, don. Uh, justo la teacher entra cuando va a hablar español. <laughs> no, why, no, why, why? I don't know how to say, eh, como tramitar las incapacidades, no sé cómo se dice. Oh. Like, but well, when you say um, incapacidad, that would be medical leave. Medical right? leave. Mm -hmm. Medical right. leave. Yes. For example, in my case, right, I need to request all the information for medical leave. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, the, the medical leave is given by the doctors. And then we need to give the medical leave to human resources. So they can process all the information from medical leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. are, are, are you feel sick that you're going to from uh, you're going to have a, a medical leave? Me? Yes. No, I I don't get sick. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I never get sick for work. Wow, you're <laughs> a super woman. No, I get sick on in vacations. <laughs> or in Saturday. That's sad. <laughs> that is sad, yes. That is very sad. <laughs> I understand. And other activity I think human research uh, have is a uh, mm -hmm. tramitation to the one when the employee quick. Oh, okay. Tramit no. Tra uh, process. You say process. You don't process. say. Uh, you, uh -huh. The process, right? The request. The process. The process is the worst part of the job <laughs> because you have to imagine you have to fire someone. Mm -hmm. You you need to need you need to say the good words to say to that person that is fired. Exactly. Have you mm -hmm. fired someone? I never do that. Uh, I I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. No. Yeah, it's it's horrible. Yeah, I'm too shy and I don't know. I don't know. I can do it. 
What about you, Esther? Have, have you fired someone? No, but my partners, they are uh, in uh, some specific partner, they, uh, they see all the uh, process, uh, derechos laborales, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, oh, this is uh, labor laws, labor rights. Uh, labor. Partner, they see all the labor, the labor, the labor rights. rights. Mm -hmm. And they, and they, when um, one, one person to the human research and the, the, the part of, of legal department. Oh, so they are in charge of the, 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 all the process, for example, yeah. that they pay the 50% or the... Exactly. Mm -hmm, exactly, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Francisco, why are you quiet? I put the meaning there of labor rights or, or workers' rights. Yeah. yeah, it says, are both legal rights and human rights related to labor relations between workers? and employers, mm -hmm. right? These rights are codified in laws, right? Very good. Thank you. You're I already welcome. write in my notebook. Perfect. Francisco, why are you quiet? <laughs> I <Shy>. am, <laughs> now and then, I can understand nothing. Why? <laughs> I prefer silence. <laughs> Just uh, listen. <laughs> Just listen today. But just today, okay? Just yeah. for this activity. Okay. <laughs> He's shy today. <laughs> no entiende inglés, dice me contesta en inglés. <laughs> no, it's, it's sometimes I, it's complicated, I understand. Yeah, and I know. When I know. person is talk, talk with me. Okay, but no, you, you're understanding right now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, so I will see you in two minutes, okay? Okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know. How do they say, how do they say lista de, de, de pedidos o solicitudes? Uh, they, uh, lists or... Uh, what kind of pedidos? What kind of things? For example, uh, and the department in my company and the department need, uh, for example, uh, new shirts and new desk. Uh, and mm -hmm. I don't know. Hacer los pedidos de los departamentos. Oh. Comprar como, o autorizar los pedidos de las compras de los departamentos. Like when we say, when we say in, in, in Spanish, orden de compra. Yes. Mm, that's actually a good question. And that is a purchase order. Purchase oh. order. Purchase. 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 Order. Very good. Order. That's a purchase order. Okay. Look at the chat. Purchase order. Yes. Purchase. Purchase. Purchase, purchase order. Purchase. Purchase. Exactly. Purchase. Purchase. Right. Purchase. Right. The purchase order is that the company received my purchase order of uh, nine computers, for example. So it means I had to buy nine computers, right? Purchase order. More questions? Tell me. Um, no. Are you sure? In Sandra. Yeah. <coughs> no okay, so I will listen then. Okay. In my uh, company, um, in make list, the activity RH is uh, recruit new employees and organize training for company staff and benefit the response of the job candidate, candidate mm -hmm. and prepare pay payroll. Oh, pay very good. Yeah, Pre and- Prepare, yeah. prepare. Prepare. 
Payroll. Payrolls. 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 Exactly. Pay, pay fina, finance, financial benefits. They give financial benefits. Financial benefits. Pay, mm, benefits. Okay, benefits. Very good. Any questions, guys? Uh, about the, uh, what is about the, the meetings that they do to all the employees uh, to know more about something oh well they they give a lot Asian. of need no they give a lot of uh, meanings to that for example in my company right my my boss says you know we are going to have a huddle huddle okay a huddle a huddle is that huddle. we yeah. all the all the all the group of people we get together and she start giving my supervisor starts giving orders or instructions orders. about the ah, company okay. or you can say we're going to have a meeting right we're going to have a group meeting right so it, it depends but, but the huddle, word capacitation doesn't exist <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no we <laughs> have in english we have trainings ah that's a training thanks <laughs> or we have workshops mm -hmm. but workshops okay. workshops are for example when they tell for example a training it's a little bit long sometimes <laughs> we have different sessions right yes but a okay. workshop sometimes they just tell training. you ah, okay today we're going to have a workshop about zoom right mm -hmm. And they no. tell you how to use Zoom, and there is only one session. And you give a product at the end, right? And you That's practice. only worship, worship. Exactly. That's a worship. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. So capacitation, some... no. <laughs> capacitation doesn't exist. OK, no. thanks. You're thanks. welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Thank you, teacher. OK. I'll see you in a minute, OK? Okay, thank minute. you. Okay. <laughs> <A> capacitation. <laughs> That's a new word in English. Yeah, I I I make a new word. <laughs> Capaci capacitation. It means no, it, training, it, it, right? It doesn't exist. No man. <laughs> it doesn't exist. I, I, I believe that, but the the means here uh, they she said to me that it doesn't exist. <laughs> and he keeps using a capacitation. Okay. <laughs> We're going to <laughs> we're going to start working right now. <laughs> Let's see what what do you have? What can, what can you tell me about this? Let's discuss. Let's talk. Who wants to start? Who wants to to start working right now? Someone who hasn't is, is spoken yet. Let's see. Yes, there. very good. It's there. Can you see the computer? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's talk. Okay, what, what do you have about number one or number two, whatever? Uh, one activity to do human research in this moment is mm -hmm. provide to all the employees uh, the tool for protection for COVID. Oh, very nice. Provides to all employees tools for COVID-19 protection, that's nice. I didn't thought about that, very, didn't think about that. Very good, that's one very nice answer. Very good, what else do you have, guys? Another group, choose another person. I have person. one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, to provide to other employees uh, uniforms. 
provide uniforms mm -hmm. to okay. all the employees. Okay. What's the, the, the one that you have? Uh, the, they're in charge to make the payroll. Okay. HR is in charge uh, of making in charge of making payrolls. Pay payrolls, yeah. Making payrolls, verifying the payrolls, paying payrolls, everything, right? Yeah. Payrolls is the money that you get every month, right? The <laughs> salary that you get every month. Very good. That's good. Another one. Raul Francisco Marquez. Uh, they, they have to resolve conflict. They have to resolve conflicts. Uh -huh. okay. and, teach, and teach how to have a, a good work environment. Oh, to have conflicts, to have a good work environment. You know, if you have a bad environment at work, it's not good, okay? It's not good at all. And one more, who wants to have one more? Very good, Raul. Okay. Another one? Don't be shy. Uh, the human resource and should have an employee's identification card. Oh, okay, human resources should make sure that all the employees, very good, and we have ID, so identification ID. cards. Very good. It's like the DUI, right? That's what you need to have with your name. Make sure, make sure oh, it's to why? confirm. Why do you use make sure? Make in sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Continue. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> make sure it's the, like confirm, right? You can say make sure, confirm. Also, you can say HR should provide IDs to all the employees. That's another option. <laughs> right? Like this. In some HR. places, in some in some works, mm -hmm. the, on my work, uh, the people the the it's in charge of that to make the IDs. Mm -hmm. is the informatic department. Oh, the computers department. Ah, computers department. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that that they are in charge of that. But the ones that are, they give you the ID. They give you the, the card, right? Yes. But the ones who are in charge is HR because they give all their information to the, to the, you know, the computers department so they can give you that information, the ID. Yes. So okay. in this case, we have two departments involved on giving ID cards. Uh -huh. Very good. Very involved too. Mm -hmm. Very good. So that's that's the answer for number two, Alan. Very good. That's the answer for number two, right? What do you know about the HR department, right? He said that the in this case they work with the computers department. What else? What do you know about your HR, Melvin? Um, teacher, I worked um, in my company, the the human research research. He are in charge of social activities. Okay, very good. Like, uh -huh. I don't know. I'm sorry, what do you say? Uh, social activities like uh, birthdays or baby showers. I don't know, something like that. Okay. <laughs> yes. they, like they organize this. These, these activities. activities, these activities, yes. these are called teamwork activities. Teamwork activities. Okay. Teamwork activities. Teamwork activities. Okay, very good. 
What else do you know about the HR in your company, Edwin? Uh, to be honest with you, teacher, I don't know nothing about human resources because I don't, I don't belong to the company because oh. I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because uh, I because I work for the owner of the, of the company, I don't know nothing about the company. Okay, okay, that's yes. a good answer. Mm -hmm. I don't, I do not know nothing. Because I don't belong to the company. Because, I don't belong to the company, okay. Okay, very good. One more answer here for number two. One more answer. It maybe they they care they are in charge to be sure about the safe to to the company be a safety place to the employees. They have to guarantee they have to guarantee a safe place to employees. To employees, okay. You need to guarantee a safe place. Safe place includes everything, right? Security, it includes also that you will feel happy where you work and so on. Okay, very good. Now, do we understand this activity right now? Yes? Questions? Nope. No, no. questions right now? Okay, let me- No, no let questions me, right now. Let me call attendance right now so we make sure that everyone is here. Okay, Alan, the name on your on your computer. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's full link. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you you give me the link on the on the email. Thanks. Okay. So right now I'm gonna share here uh, the attendance. Let's search to Spanish. Vamos a pasar la ten, la 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 attendance. La asistencia del día. <laughs> Esther Maricela Orellana Maradiaga. I'm here. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Is there uh, Raul Francisco Marquez Argueta? Present. Sandra Veronica Herrera Vanegas? I'm here. Adalilen Hernández de Salmerón? Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Present. Ellington Antonio Fuentes Reyes. Present. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. Present. Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Present. Eh, Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Present. Mayra Noemi Cardoza, José Antonio Renderos, Juan Francisco Ayala Montano, Present. Zulma Patricia Donis Colato, Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda, Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo, Present. Eh, Sandra Corina Miranda Maya. Present. En Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Perfect. Here. Perfect. Perfect. So, now we're going to continue here with the activities with the class. Right. We have the answers here. Now what we're going to do right now is that we're going to watch a small video, right? With the video, the, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to listen, right, to all the information about a girl called Susan Williams. She works for a company called Excel Systems, right? And that's what we're going to do is less than one minute, okay? So we're going to pay attention right now. And then after I will show you the questions, okay? Let's start here. Let me know in one moment. Let me see here. Let me know if you can listen to the video. 
No, not yet. Not yet. Susan Clark, I work for Excel. What about now? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's start. I'm going to mute for everyone so you can listen carefully. Is everyone is on mute right now? Let's start. My name is Susan Clark. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. We are going to watch this one more time. Right? Please. Teacher, I can, yeah. I can see the video, only, uh, only the, the audio. You cannot see it? Me too. I Me can too. I, I can watch can... the video only only the audio. So either, only the audio teacher. What about now? Yes. Ah. Yes. Okay. No, yes. Now let's do it. Let's listen. Listen carefully. My name is Susan Clark. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, were you able to understand some information from the video? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. some of them. Now, I'm going to share with you some questions, right? So you can see the questions, you take a look at the questions, and we're going to try to answer them, okay? Always based on the video. Would you like to watch the video one more time? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. One more time. Please let me know if you can see it and if you can listen to it. Okay, can you see the, the computer? Yes. Yes. My name is Susan Clark. Can you listen to that? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so let's do it one more time. Again, mute for everyone. And let's do it. My name is Susan Clark. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay. Now, based on this, based on this video, we are going to try to answer these three questions. Now, I need you to remember the task here, right? This task that we have, right? And which are the tasks from here that are mentioned in this video? Do you remember any? Mm -hmm. 
She organized trainings. Because... She organized trainings. Very good. And is that trainings here? Yes, right. Organize trainings for company training staff. For company staff yes. Very good, right? So that's one of the things that she does. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to try to answer these three questions in three minutes so we can share the information with the others to see if you can remember something about the video, okay? We're going to be back at 9.10, so let's be ready. Let's be ready. We're going to speak to the same people, so let's go. Let's go. Take a screenshot of the pictures. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go and let's go to your groups. Let's go to your groups. I send you an invitation for your groups. Very nice. Uh, questions? No teacher. No. Recruit new employee employee employees. Employees. Ajá. Que decía la primera es que yo no I don't take screenshot. Ah, okay. which of the task in Raúl, I think you send it to the WhatsApp. Okay. I think. Ah, okay. The WhatsApp? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Which of Which of the text? She mentioned. Uh -huh. In exercise one, the she say recruit recruit new employees. Okay, what else? Um, organize or how do you say organize? Organize. Organize. Organize, <laughs> organize. <laughs> organize training for company staff. Organize training and give good condition for companies for employees. <laughs> okay. A good and bad employees. Okay, a good environment. Do you have a good environment in your companies? Can you repeat? Do you have a good environment in your companies? For example, in my company, I have never met my co-workers in person, just through Zoom. <laughs> so, it's a good environment. <laughs> But what about yours? You have been with your company for a lot of time, right? So tell me, is it a good environment? What What about your company, he said? Excuse me? In your company, do you have a good environment? Yes. Yes? Are you sure? No, no, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, no, yes. Not bad. <laughs> have you seen have you seen the cartoon the, the Simpsons? Yes. No, 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 no. Bueno, sí, sí, sí. No. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I see right? the meme. <laughs> Perfect. So what do you think about yours? Uh, um Maria Jesus. Do you have a good environment in your in your yes. school? Yes, it's similar to you in my house, only in my house. <laughs> and what 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 happens when you are in the company, in the institution? And normally, mm -hmm. normally time is a it's a good environment because the student mm -hmm. is a time, and the teacher time. Ah, I don't know. Como decir, no podemos darnos el lujo de estar eh, fuera de tiempo, no sé cómo decirle. It's on time, on time. Oh. Yes, on time, porque no, podemos, 
Los estudiantes no los podemos dejar solos como una máquina, si trabajáramos con una máquina. Usted yeah, entiende no, de eso. No, 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 yeah. <risa> I hope. Te espero entender, si no. <risa> <risa> Nunca nos abandonen. <risa> Por favor. <risa> Teacher, sorry. I listen that she say so. Curriculum, no. Curriculum, mm, no, she didn't say curriculum, because mm. curriculum is what we study every day. For example, the curriculum for this course is four units, unit one, two, three, and four. Uh, That's a curriculum. Con todo el plan de estudio que se envía. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. So I think let's go back because it's nine twelve. Let's go back with the others. Oh, okay. So what do you discuss? Tell me, what do you discuss? Is there? It's a few time. Huh? What's a few time? Oh yeah, just five minutes. It's good. Five <laughs> minutes. Yeah, that fun. was three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was only three or two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes, Esther. We discuss about what she enjoy and what she dislike of her work. Okay. She enjoy work with people. She. She. she I, I'm sorry. She, she enjoy work for people and to develop the skills of, of the employees. And she dislike. Uh, she dislike. She dislike when uh, she have to, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, como, um, you give feedback. When the people, <laughs> when, the people uh -huh. uh, when the people come, came, uh, to work uh, late, late, late in the work, and take so many day off, mm -hmm. and sleep in her work. And they sleep at work. Okay, that's bad, right? When you that's sleep bad. at work, you're. She oh. is like about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. So, she give feedback when you have an employee that is not doing what they're supposed to do and they're you know, falling asleep, they are very late, right? And they don't like to work, you need to give feedback, right? And tell them, mm -mm, that's not correct, right? Okay, very good. What about the first question then? What were the activities that she mentioned in the video that match the information that you had before? None? Veronica? She's, she uh -huh. speaks very fast. I know, like me but, in Spanish. But, but I remember she said that she, oh, bueno, no sé si, si que lo que dijo usted era que, que retroalimentara que el video. Uh -huh. No, yes, yes, no. yes. yes. No. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. Uh, she saw that she prepared or organizer or organi organizer mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. and good give good conditional to employees. Very good. And she enjoy work with many people. Mm -hmm. uh, she no good or oh, dislike that people come to the world very late or mm -hmm. how do you say pedir como días libres to ask for days off for day 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 days off days off days off uh -huh. days off. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
this so, so. <laughs> for example ellington ellington doesn't have days off he works every day even on sundays he doesn't have days off right do you have days off i think uh corina has days off on weekends right she works from monday to friday right corina so those are days off right in my job, I cannot ask for days off. I cannot say, no, nah, no les quiero dar clase hoy. Right? No, I need to be here. <laughs> yes, I, I have to be here. It's mandatory. Yeah, the teacher no wants to give us class. Here. <laughs> you have a day off too. <laughs> I don't have days off, imagine that. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's continue working here. We're going to do the following right now. Can you see my beautiful PowerPoint? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. It's very, very beautiful. Very good. <laughs> now, we're going to do right now, look at this exercise here. Let me see. Okay. It says here, listen to the recording again. We're going to listen to Susan again. And we are going to complete the sentences. So you need to listen to specific words that she's going to say. Right? So you need to listen to the information. So it will say, my, blah, 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 include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It is also my, blah, blah, blah. And you need to listen carefully, okay? I am going to play the audio three times. So you pay attention. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Let's start right now. You can take a screenshot or you can copy on your notebook, that's okay. But right now, I need you to listen, okay? Let's start. Everyone is going on mute by me. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Can you listen to that? No. No. I don't mean. Not yet. Yeah, but. Let's sorry. let's see one more time. Can you listen to that? No. 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 Okay, let's do it one more time. Up the volume. Far, far away, it's, it's the sound. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Sure. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for companies. What about now? Can you listen? Yes. I have no speed. Your computer. <gasps> what a relajo today. <laughs> the, the, the video is just well, important. Well, well, well. No, but right now, right now, you are not going to watch the video. I just need you to listen. Listen and look at the, the, the sentences on the on the PowerPoint. Okay? So right now you are not going to watch your video. Just listen. Okay. Now can you see the can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Now, my second question, can you listen? My name's Susan Williams. I work for... Yes. Yes, yeah. okay. Let's just start one more time. One, two, three. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay. We are going to listen the second time. Okay. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. 
I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, very good. Now we're going to listen right now the last time, okay? My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay. Now, do you have the answers? Yes. Very fast. Very fast. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. I don't, I don't, I don't listen to number four. <laughs> the first is... <laughs> wait, wait, would you like to listen one more time? The first please. is... Yes, yes. Okay. please, please. Let's listen. Breathe, and then we're going to listen, okay? Ready? No, I just... Ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, three. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay. I don't hear nothing. On the last, sorry. <laughs> but I got it all the, all at once. <laughs> but the okay. last I can hear nothing. You cannot hear nothing. Nunca me frustrado tanto como ahora. We prove or You will, you will, you will see. No, right now I need you to 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 relax. Sometimes it's very frustrating to to listen because this is not your language, okay? She's not speaking fast, right? She's speaking like she normally does, right? Si ustedes okay. hablan con un gringo, él va a decir que rápido está hablando. El right? español, sí tiene El español. <laughs> está hablando el español súper rápido, right? But no, Hay gente you are que habla mucho más, más rápido. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Now, there are some people that speak like, with, like, with that, accent. No, all of us, all of us normal. speak with accent. All of us yes. speak with accent. Todos tenemos acento. All of us. Right? Okay. Even American people. So don't worry. Okay? <laughs> okay. Now, don't worry. We're going to listen to it so we get the information. Right? But let's see. Uh, Veronica, what do you have okay. for number one? Okay. My responsibility includes recruiting recruiting new employees and organizing training for a company staff. Okay, my responsibility, right, Miss responsibility. Is this correct, guys? Everyone? Yes. Responsibilities. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no? no? Yeah, yeah. Responsibilities. No? Yes. My responsibilities. I oh, my responsibilities. Okay. okay, very good. Oops, okay. What about number two, Edwin? 
Yeah. It's, it's, also, it's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. It is also my job to improve the company's working conditions. Okay, good. What about number three here? Um, let's see, Maria. La que no oye. <laughs> Maybe say, I find. <laughs> I find. Okay, I find my work. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. And number four, Alan. Uh, number four, what I don't like, what? What? Okay. What, what I don't like. like. Okay. What I don't like. What I don't like so much is when it's a difficult employee. Okay. So look at the words that we have. Right? The first word, responsibilities. The second word, my job. Right? The third word is fine. And the last one is what. Now we're going to listen one more time and let's let's verify if those are the correct answers. Okay? okay. Do you, okay. Does anybody else have something different? Any other answer? Or these are the only answers that you have? I remember. Raul? In, num in number four. But number four, I think it's bad. Bad. Okay. No, it's, 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 it's correct. Uh, say because I th I think she says, but what I don't like is but what I don't like it's no. things like this. Mm -hmm. Let, now let's listen. Let's listen. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, let's listen. Everyone is going to be you right now. What you're going to do is to listen and to read right the information we have. Let's start. Okay. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, so what do you think? Are these correct? Are these answers correct? But, but, no. But? What? But, but it's correct. But. But is correct. No. Yes. This is no. the correct answer. What? Really? Yes. What I don't like so much, right? That's the correct really? answer. Yes. Put, it, put it again. Okay, could you please put it again? Yes. One more time. The last. <laughs> Listen. That's too much. <laughs> okay. Oops. And the last part. The last. Give me one moment. No, don't worry, it's okay. No, we need to listen, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> now, let's see here. Already know. Se trabó. Se trabó. No. Already know. <laughs> no, it's okay, don't worry. Human resources, man. My responsibilities. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is... What I don't like, very what good. Like. Okay. That's the answer. Very good, very good. So now what we're going to do at this moment is that we're going to continue practicing right now. Do you have any questions so far? Any questions? No. no? No. Are you sure? Teacher. Yes? What means deadline? Deadline is the day, for example, last Saturday, I told you, Saturday is the last day for you to complete the activities. So I can tell you, Saturday is the deadline for you to complete the midterm. 
So the deadline means the day no, no, that you day, have to. What? The, de the deadline. <laughs> Alan, let me listen to Melvin. Melvin? The, de the deadline. Uh, look at me. Look at me. The deadline. So, <laughs> okay, go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead, Melvin. Go ahead. Sounds logic, Alan. Uh, no, teacher, I, I said uh, it's like the last change or the last opportunity to do something. Is the last, the exactly. The, the, the uh -huh. day that you have to do something. Very good. For example, in your jobs, right, Esther can say the deadline to complete these laws is going to be Friday. So she has to complete and verify everything. Right. La, so, la, en el video dijo doesn't mean deadlines. They don't. They don't meet. Ah. Right. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Doesn't. Oh, sorry. Doesn't meet deadlines. Ah, doesn't meet. Doesn't meet. A, for example, an employee that doesn't meet deadlines is not a good employee. It's a bad employee. Right. Because they have to complete deadlines imagine that they ask for example let's suppose edwin is a teacher right so then um english corporativo tells edwin edwin on monday you have to it's monday is the deadline for you to submit all the classes for the week and edwin says ah whatever i don't care and he puts all the classes, matter. it doesn't matter, he puts the classes until Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And he didn't meet the deadline, right? Because mm -hmm. the deadline was Monday. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Very good, you're welcome, very good. Thank now, you, teacher. You're welcome. So let's go ahead and continue. Any questions right now? Anything? Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, no, so sorry. let's continue. <laughs> no, all, let's all continue. I can all uh -huh. I can say right now it's it's raining really hard right now. If my internet got off, I'm really sorry. Oh no, it took is it raining? I can't yes, hear nothing. Car. Where do you live? <laughs> no, I live in San Salvador, El Salvador. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in Santa Tecla. I, I don't have money. In Santa Tecla is raining. In Santa Tecla is. Okay, so Esther lives in Santa Tecla, María, tú. Yes, me, mexicano, mexicano, I don't live. It's raining. Teacher. I don't listen. You cannot listen. So where Sandra lives, it's raining too because she cannot listen. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, yes I Mexicanos is not raining. Audio. In Mexicanos, uh, it's not raining. So a Popa have... too. A Popa City too. Okay. Wait, let me check. Oh, dang, no. I can no. hear you guys well. Okay, Sandra, can you hear? Yes, right now. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Let's continue sharing here. We still have a lot of things to do. Okay, we're going to work right now with the book, right? On the book, right? We're going to work with, let me see. Let's go to page 29, please. Let's go to page 29. On page 29, there is a conversation Page 29, exercise two and exercise three, right? There is a conversation between Mr. Chang and Dorian, right? Mr. Chang and Dorian. So what we're going to do, can you see the conversation in your book? Do you have your books? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm going to use the book because I, I don't have the PowerPoint. It, it, it's, it's frozen. Now, we have this conversation here. I want to, I want to people to tell the conversation. It will be Corina, and the other person is going to be, uh, let's see, Carla Gabriel. Corina, you are Mr. Chang. Carla Gabriel, you are Dorian. Okay. Ready? Yes. 
Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me what she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And Paul, you tell me about your responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of the recruiters. Mm -hmm. I understand. And does Miss Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent man management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. At one o'clock. Very good. Very good. Now, we just need to practice a few words, but the conversation was very good, right? We're going to practice the following words here. Right? Pay attention. We're going to practice the word recruitment. Recruitment. Okay? Recruitment. recruitment. The second word that we're going to uh, practice is responsibilities. Responsibilities responsibilities very good then we're going to practice administrative 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 okay oh I'm, i forgot recruiting 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 and then recruiters 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 very good and we're going to see here management, 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 consultant, 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 and this is rich, 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 rich. Okay, one more time. Listen. Recruitment. Recruitment. Responsibilities. Responsibilities. Recruiting. Recruiting. Administrative. Administrative. Recruiters. Recruiters. Management. Management. Consultant. 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 Rich. 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 This is rich. Exactly. This is what we have, right? This is what we're going to practice. Now we are going to work in pairs. We're going to practice the conversation, but also we need to practice here. Sorry. We're going to practice these two conversations, these two questions. It says, Who is Miss Chavez? What do you think Mr. Chang does? Right? That's what we're going to answer to. So we're going to first practice the conversation and then discuss the questions in exercise number three. Is that clear what we're going to do? Yes. Yes? Yes. Only Melvin? What about the others? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's start working. Conversation practice and then the two questions. Let's start. Let's practice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Choose your group, select your groups. Fatima? Okay. Any questions? Let's start. No. No. Okay. So I will listen only. Okay. 
I'm going to listen to you. Okay, we're going to practice the conversation. I am uh, Mr. Chang and you are a Dorian. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who is she? Which is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support of the team of recruit. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Uh, where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay, now you are uh, Mr. Chang. You are Mr. Okay. Chang. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Oh, Francisco. Mr. Bye -bye. She is the recruitment co coordinator. I see. Could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, uh, she provides. Basically, she provides a recruiting administ administrative support for the for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does what does he what does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Very nice. Let's answer the questions. Who is Mr. Chavez? He is the Mr. Chavez. Recruitment coordinator. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure, Fatima? No. Yes. Yes, okay. No. Sometimes I will ask you, Are you sure? Just to see if you're paying attention, okay? <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, what do you think Mr. Chan, Chan does? No, yo creo que es como recepcionista el Mr. Chan. Uno. Are you sure? Eso iba a decir porque puede ser también, eh, no, puede ser alguien que, que lo busca como el, in English teacher, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Eh, me, mensajer. Messenger. Oh, messenger. Uh -huh. or, or candidate for the job. Okay. Mm -hmm. New recruiting. Re uh -huh. <laughs> it's probably. What do you think? For Mr. Chan, you say he is a candidate. Candidate. For Mr. Chan is a candidate. For the new job? No. Okay. Or, or probably a, wait, wait a moment. <laughs> uh -huh. I need you to be a hundred percent sure. So tell me. Maybe your answer is correct, but read the conversation. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shan, maybe is um, HR. Maybe it's an HR, okay. Uh -huh. ah, why an HR? Because he asked to to the task of the other employees. People. Very good. Uh -huh. He's kind of verifying the information, right? 
-hmm. It's kind of verifying. What do you think, Sandra? Wait. I read the game. Okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. I don't know. I think um, probably it's a mess. Messenger, oh, messenger. <laughs> messenger. Okay. Okay. It can be. It can be also. Okay. What I want you to do is that you know to make sure that you feel comfortable with the answer. Que se sienta segura de lo que va a responder. Okay. That's what you need to do. To think carefully on the answers. Right, so you start feeling confident. Si usted lo lee, Carla dijo, no, es un chart, dice este, este. Right? Yes. Because you need to read carefully. Don't get nervous, okay? Don't get nervous, because we are going to make mistakes all the time. Vamos a hacer errores, así que no se preocupe. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. En, en cinco años y dice, ¿quién era Mr. Chat? <laughs> Ahí sí nos afligimos. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So let's. I, I want to okay. listen to the conversation. Can you practice right now the conversation? Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm Mr. Chai. Chai. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the requirement coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of requirers. I understand. Um, does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Very nice. Just, Carla, we're going to say okay. recruitment. Recruitment. Ah, recruitment. You say recruitment. Uh -huh. recruitment. Ah, okay. recruitment. Recruitment. Very good. And then you say the other words there. Let me see in the conversation. Recruitment, then recruiters, right? Recruiters, recruitment, recruiting. Okay. Recruiting. Okay. Remember, remember. Okay, let's let's go. We're going to finish right now. Let's go with the others. Okay. You're going to be first, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, everyone is here. We're going to start right now with Veronica's group. Right, she's going to share the, the her conversation. And right now they're just going to practice the conversation, Veronica, and then Raul's group. Who is in your group, Raúl? Eh, Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Okay, so first Verónica and Carla and then Raúl and Juan Francisco. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, let's start. Mm -hmm. I'm Mr. Cham. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could be you and could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruitment administrative support for the team of recruit 
recruiters. I understand. And um, does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Very good. Give them an applause. Very good. Very right. good. Very good. Now we're going to listen. <laughs> we're going to listen to Raúl and Juan Francisco. Okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the equipment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Great. Very good. Very, very nice. Okay. Thanks for your oh. clap. <laughs> they, they, are, they are like this. Look. <laughs> now, what we need to do is here, uh, one, the word that I need you to practice is going to be this one. Can you see my computer? Recruitment. Recruitment. This, this, this word is very difficult. It's very difficult. Recruitment. Recruitment. Recruiters. Recruiters. And recruiting. Recruiting. Okay, very good. Recruitment. Recruiters, recruiting. Recruiting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's like a tongue twister. Right? Un trabalengua. What is the difference? What is the difference? The three words. Oh, here the word in this case is working as a noun. She is the recruitment coordinator. This is a profession. This is a job. Recruiter. When you say she provides recruiting administrative support, this is the activity, right? And when you say for who? For the team of recruiters. This is people, right? Everything is, is related to the same. So it means that she works with new employees, right? Her job is to work with new employees, right? So recruitment. It means that they call you and they say, hi, are you Sandra Veronica? Yes, my name is Sandra Veronica. Okay, do you have experience in teaching English? Yes, I am a teacher for 10 years, right? So, oh, okay, then the recruitment is going to call the new employees for the company. So recruitment coordinator will be the job, right? The recruiting is the activity and recruiters, if Sandra Veronica says yes, then she will be my recruiter, the new employee. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Is, is it clear, Soso? -so? Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to see the answers for the two questions. Who is Miss Chavez? Who can tell me who is Miss Chavez? She is recruitment coordinator. She is? Recruitment coordinator. Okay. Are you sure, guys? She's the recruitment coordinator. Is that correct? Yes. 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 Okay. And what do you think Mr. Chang does? He is a human resource. Human resource. Okay. What do you think? Very good. We think that he is in HR, right? Human resources. Right. Human we think resources. he is human resources. Very Human good. Resources. Human resources. Very good. Now, that's, that's what we have right now. Let me see here. 
And what we're going to do is that for tomorrow, right, we are going to practice here with this activity. Look at this, look at this, what we have. It says here, read the information on the HR personnel and then answer the questions below. We're going to talk about four people, recruitment coordinator, right? Then also we're going to talk about benefit specialist, talent management consultant, and human resources generalist, okay? Now, this is what we need to have, right? These are, for example, like the things that you need to do every day if you are this person, right? Uh, what is your job, Raul? What do you do? My job is a uh, IT. Okay, an IT. Okay, let, let's take a look at this right now, okay? Before you go. IT. IT employee. employee. Right? Very good. And do you need to have a bachelor's degree to be an employee? Yes. Yes, yes okay. I need a bachelor's degree. Bachelor's bachelor's degree. Okay. What do you do? Look at the same information. What we need to do is here first at home. You are going to read the different mm. profiles, the different information that they have. And later on in our home, we, we are going to try to write the same information, but about us, right? It's like when you go and look for a job, right? When you go and you look for a job, right? You are requesting people with some experience, right? For example, in my case, right? If I put here, English teacher, bachelor's degree, mm, sometimes, right, right? Then we says organizes the schedules of candidates interview. It might not, it might says, right, excellent level of English. That's what the companies require, right? Excellent level of English. Some others, they say native speaker. We are not native speakers of English, right? Then they say have at least two years of experience, right? Now everyone, all the English academies, now they say know how to use Zoom. Ah, you see, mm. right? Those are the, the different the different uh, things that the jobs require, right? So in your house, what you are going to do is the following. You are going to read these four, right? you're going to read all this information, and you are going to write on the forum, right, the information about your job, okay? okay. That's what we're going to do. Very easy, like if you are looking for a job. I'm going to put there tomorrow, an example, so you can follow the example. Is that clear? Yes? yes. Okay, now that's what we're going to do. Do you have okay. any questions right now about the activity that we were going to do on the forum? Veronica, do you have a question? No. No? Oh, so I think that this example, I right in the discussion yes in the discussion exactly in the discussion form that's where you're going to write the example about you very good raul any questions no no francisco uh, <laughs> i'm going to kill myself no i'm kidding <laughs> Se pasa. Que, que si puede empezar desde el principio, dice. Tú muy bien, Raúl, porque todos creo que necesitamos refuerzo. I invite you to watch the video. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to... Okay. 
Um, I'm not going to ask Edwin because he says that he wants to start again. No. Carla, do you have a question? <laughs> no? Okay, Melvin, any questions? It's okay. Okay. Ellington? It's okay. It's okay. Alan Javier? Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, Maria de Jesus, do you have questions? Okay, Esther? Sandra Corina? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima Hissel, do you have questions? I'm sorry. Do you have questions, Fatima Hissel? No? Okay. Ay, Dios mío. Sandra I Corina. love this class. <laughs> the thing in it. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay, guys. So if you don't have questions, we're going to finish here. Thank you, Sandra Corina. <laughs> I will let you bye go. Bye. Have a beautiful bye. night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Take bye. care, bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> What happened, Sandra Veronica? <laughs> bye bye, Sandra Veronica.